this. Okay, I'm cooking a steak in the microwave. Dogs, get out of the way. That's a, a coffee. like it's working. Looks fine, I guess. Phone's gonna react to staying on for the entire video, but Frozen sticks. Start with the defrost. Push it this way. round number there and frost out of the frost put it in pounds so it's gonna be like four so
How's the stream quality? Turn food over. Zero viewers. It's great. Okay, now that's where it gets actually interesting. Okay. Get this in position. Still frozen on the inside, as you'd expect. So, there's our defrosted, nice brown steak that you buy frozen. Everyone loves steak that you buy frozen. It's in a nice little square. Most popular steak brand that's frozen. So you get your steak and you cut it open in a way that it actually gets cut open. It's still raw meat. I'm going to be cooking the plate too, so. Itself. Paper towel just to make sure that it doesn't actually it's a dead paper towel. But let's season this. Let's season this. Pepper, nice freshly ground. Salt. Still frozen a little bit. Don't worry. I'll get to deal with that later. Oh wait, I forgot to season the board. You gotta season the board beforehand. Not the not the actual steak. I don't think it'll really matter. This is microwave steak after all. So you get this, cover this, make sure it's folded. Let me put a little bit of water on here. And just so that when heat penetrates this, it'll heat it up and it'll get the outside a little bit warm. So this is still partially frozen, but 
Omaha Steaks guarantee it'll, it'll taste good, right? <laughs> the heater's working again. Okay. Two minutes first round. Oh, wait. You gotta turn it into the power level of five, as per the instructions. There we go. Most important, heat thermometer. You gotta get it up to the correct temperature. 145. 160 if that was mechanically processed, if my hand's pressing down into it. It's not. So your ground beef, you gotta get up to 165 or whatever. Ten seconds left. Oh, it's probably not cooked after two minutes, but halfway through, gotta check it. Ooh, it's getting juicy. Oh man, that's why you put the top on it so it gets a little bit more definition in the actual color. Still technically touching raw meat. Yeah, that's not even close to it. Meh. Not even changing heat temperature right now. Yeah, the inside's not even the correct temperature yet. Yeah, that's still cold on the inside. Flip it over. You want to keep cooking. Mm, nice and bloody. Yeah, it's been rotated. Another two minutes.
take shape it's beginning to actually look like meat and again you gotta check the inside temperature once that reaches 140 we can actually call it done it's more like 110 so I think one more round since it started at 20 degrees. I mean, official FDA says that it has to be brown on the inside, so. Let's flip you over again. benefit of this no oil lean meat with no oil whatsoever seconds and then we get to check again Ugh. Okay, it's been another two minutes, I think. This should be the amount of time. Paper starting to dry out. And uh, now the inside's still probably not good enough. Yep, yeah, still not good enough. Come on. Uh, we're almost there. At 2.30. We get 2.40 though. Huh? Oh. I think we're at 2.40. Yeah, I think we are. I think that means we wait three minutes. And then this steak, which looks absolutely perfect for a microwave steak. It's to be counted as done. I'm not going to cover it in tin foil, but time three minutes. Uh, there. You won't be able to see the seconds, but. There. Three minutes of wait time, and I'll be back. Great. 
Unconditional guarantee. Omaha Steaks. If you're not absolutely thrilled with your purchase of Omaha Steaks for any reason, we'll cheerfully replace or refund your money. Well, let's find out if this steak will actually go. So it should be 140, so it's within medium rare range. Our steaks cooking chart. And since it's the three fourths of an inch, oh, it should be four minutes. They lied, it's eight minutes. Well, not eight minutes. Six minutes plus the three minutes. Too bad. Where's that per side? Oh, that's on a gas grill. No, oh, it's more like seven to eight, yeah. So it's a little bit faster on the microwave. Dry ice. Oh no, I didn't use their official soaking method. I used the microwave defrost. I wonder if that would cause cancer or something. Microwave something in plastic. Oh no. I, I already ruined the steak. I microwaved in plastic. Crap. Ugh. Two minutes left to go and I already know I ruined it. One minute left. Shit. Let me get the knife and fork. No, I'll get it off that plate. With all the. You gotta spice the board, but I didn't say you could just use that board to cook with. I'll eat it right here standing up. I only got 15 minutes to be able to go, so I might as well. 30 seconds. Gotta wait, gotta make sure that the temperature gets nice and even throughout. Such a nice, juicy steak. The guaranteed quality. Why am I using this knife? I have this steak knife already out. video afterwards I do have a nice stainless steel pan I might as well show that just to prove a point I do in fact have a nice stainless steel pan here that I just used a little while ago it's dry now and it's in here and it's one of the nice quality ones Okay, this phone's getting warm. Well, the steak's nice and warm now, too, probably. Okay, here comes the big reveal. Do I have a nice, beautiful view of this? Let's make sure the bitrate gets it all in. Mmm, look at that. It's still pink, according to the video. It's nice and gray to my own eyes. This is a little bit pink, actually. But this video is... Again, let's change everything. This camera wants it to make it look all nice and vibrant. It looks gray, but it's meat. It's meat that was cooked in six minutes, plus three. Let's do the big reveal, everyone. Let's see what this steak looks like on the inside. So this is 140. So that's a nice medium rare according to them. Mmm. Totally. That's the temperature you should look for in the center for a nice medium rare, which is the minimum specification for FDA quality. Well, it's steak. It tastes like steak. Well, it tastes like Salisbury steak, but you know. Or a frozen steak that you get by it being shipped to you. And then you have to get all the dry ice packs out and take this out and leave it in your fridge for six months. Your steak tastes pretty good. And it doesn't change 
anytime I have it. It'll be exactly like this every day. Mmm. And all I need to do was defrost it and put it in the actual microwave. Mmm. Let's see if I can actually switch the camera. Mmm. Nice and juicy steak. Mmm. Actually, it's really juicy for what it is. But if you're someone who is using hamburger helpers for food every day, this is a perfectly valid alternative. See, look. This is what people eat. This is actual food to people. Okay, this is what people normally have. This takes just as much effort. You can have a steak for the same effort as a hamburger helper, and it tastes the same quality range. I hope you understand what box tops are for these days. This is the extra 10 cents that you could be saving just by buying your own steak. Try searing it. Sure. One moment. This little tiny bit of steak. Mm. Uh, I'll just use Pam. Pam still has that little bit of hydrogenated oils that everyone likes. One high. Okay, you got this nice thing heating up. It has Pam on it, so I <laughs> slammed it on the electric burner. Okay, we'll give that a few minutes. I could use a little bit more seasoning. But I bet I could sear that and it would look just like a normal steak, other than it being like a Salisbury steak on the inside because of the FDA regulations. But it's evenly cooked. Um, if you had it thin on the edges or something, that would have been overcooked. But I mean, this is a square steak. You have to know that. I mean, if you're cooking with like a T-bone steak, the bone's gonna get overcooked, I would think. Um, but I mean, if you cover it with a towel, it looks perfectly fine. Okay. It's starting to get warm. Yeah, it's starting to firm up. See, look, that's a normal steak. There's barely any oil. I mean, it's just like sous vide, but without the plastic, unless you defrosted it like I did. And that's why we use the microwave, because it evenly cooks things. The only reason why you don't have evenly cooked meat is because you're not doing it properly. Okay, that's getting too hot. There. Back to the same plate where it once was. 
There you go. It's not gonna burn on me, right? Let me clean up my steak mess before I get in this. Again, another reason why microwaving steaks is the better option without even having to sear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, you should be using stainless steel. It's really easy to use. I don't know why people are always concerned about it. If you get stuff stuck to it, all you have to do to clean it up is use it in your sauce, or you just put water in it, and it cleans up immediately. And then all you gotta do is put soap in it sometimes. Like, most of the time it'll just come off. But yeah, here's the steak after it was seared. Still just a medium well steak. Mmm. Now it has nice chari bits on it. It makes it taste exactly like your grandmother would have a steak. In fact, this is probably how they start prepping it for grandmother's steak at the steakhouse. Because you know that she wants to have it nice and medium well. So they'll probably put in the microwave for five minutes. And it's one of those super fast ones, so it's going to be like the 1200 watt or something. Put that at full blast for five minutes. And the steak is nice and cooked all the way well through, and then they sear it. So, pretty much standard practice. But... I mean, I'd go a little bit less because the FDA's regulation on cooking steaks in their microwave tells them to cook it at least at quote-unquote medium rare, even though it's medium at 140. Doesn't really matter. It tastes good. It's a steak. And it was put in a microwave to cook it. And so anyone who tells you otherwise, that you can't cook a steak in a microwave and have it taste good, is lying out their ass, because they've never tried it. Look at that. Nice, juicy steak. Although I dried it out by putting it in there, because it was already rested, but you know. It's slightly medium, a little bit of pink. In real life, too. The end. Again, this is for people who eat Hamburger Helper. If you eat Hamburger Helper, this is better. Eat this. It takes less time, less effort, and tastes better than Hamburger Helper. And probably costs less. The end.